welcome back everybody so yeah a couple things well not a couple things one thing has changed since the last episode um well one of the mechs has changed let's have a look at the uh trebuchet here so we went ahead and we put in a double heat sink kit here just a regular double heat sink kit um so that um it won't be dropping its heat anytime uh when we're fighting uh, which is really good. We've got three improved jump jets on it, so we got a bit of a range with this. So that's pretty much all we did. I'm hoping that the heat stays up. Now, there was a suggestion that perhaps we make this into the um, the um, the LAM mech. The problem with that, though, is we have to take out the defensive gyro. Uh, we could put the LAM engine in, sure, but then we have to take out the, the endo steel to put the LAM uh, uh, airframe and stuff in so we're not going to get what we want out of this mech by doing it that way so we're going to leave it this way now i did try a couple of things um i did try to work on the uh, if we go to storage here real quick go to medium we do have the fire starter od i did give it a shot and it wasn't working for me um well it doesn't work number one because this is uh technically a clan mech it's an omni mech so i can't change out uh, the engine or any of that stuff so we can't get full advantage of this mech um, I assembled a regular urban mech um, to see if I could get that to work and it didn't so I just trashed them I just trashed that regular urban mech got rid of it and then I went through and sold a ton of mech parts that we had like crazy amounts and some of the stuff that we had in storage a lot of the engines and that and I made a ton of sea bills out of that and then I was able to go ahead and buy the, the two uh, um, risk urban mech pieces for this mech so this mech right now the risk urban mech is actually getting um, repaired the um, the risk uh, rotary 2 is actually still intact in the arm here so I'm kind of excited about that. I don't know what we'll do with it, but we'll have it. And if we want to sell it, we can do that. I mean, it cost cost us like five and a half million to uh, get it up and running. So I don't think we'll sell it anytime soon. We'll use it for something. I'll figure it out. Um, but we got that guy updated. I want to see what, what this thing is going to, um, how it's going to perform at 30 tons and stuff. So yeah, we got that one fixing. Um, so I think what we're going to do in order to build like a half decent lamb mech, I think we need to find the right chassis and I don't think we really have it with the mechs that we have right now. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and wait till we get another mech to, to be able to do like an inner sphere mech. Uh, but for today, uh, let's go to the command center. There's only one more. Actually, let's go back to the mech bay really quick. Um, uh, Fist of Doran made a suggestion for the Talos that I think might work. Uh, so I'm going to look at doing that um, when we jump to the next system and that is if we pull out the large X pulse let's say we pull out the LRM um, we can upgrade the engine and then take the medium X pulses that we've got we've got two on the trebuchet which we can change out for something like a regular um, pulse lasers and we've got one got two here and we've got was it one on no we've got and we got two on the gauntlet so there's four medium X pulses. I think we can probably put them in the Talos, put a faster engine in this thing, and maybe another another weapon, including those, um, and make this a faster mech to get in close. Uh, so that's a possibility between when we jump, like after this episode, when we jump to the new system. I'll have a look at maybe refitting this guy. It'll mean refitting everything. It also will depend on how many C-bills we have, because we are coming up our, on our financial report, and we've got... We'll have like 100,000 left, depending on what we make in this mission. Um, so we won't have a lot left over, but I'll see I'll see if that's actually feasible. Uh, and we'll look at doing that. All right. So let's go to uh, Command Center, because I've got a mission oh, that I want to do here. Uh, we're going to do Settling a Grudge. Um, fire Mandrill of Structured Facilities. We're going to have to find a, a lance and destroy it. Um, so I don't know if it's a... Uh, yeah, it's a fire mandrel lance. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Two and a half skulls. I think that should be no problem. So let's negotiate this. Going to go full salvage. Hopefully we can get some good stuff out of this. We'll accept. And we're going to leave this as it is. I think we want to keep the trebuchet in for this. Yeah, I think so. And we'll deploy. Uh, I think we'll be okay. Initiated. 
All right, here we go. We got the hill on this one. That's nice, but we don't have a fire support lance, which means it's going to be four against at least ten. They may get reinforcements. Let's not make snowmen and say we did. Um, so this should be interesting. All right, let's. Gonna move and brace on this one. Uh, let's get this on overload so I don't forget, and we'll brace. Um, let's get you up this way. We probably got somebody up here. Okay, Dust Striker. This is going to be interesting because I don't know how... It was not the map I was hoping for. Let's get into here. Yeah, for now. This is also a cold environment too, so it's not going to be a good sense of uh, how the heat's going to work on this thing. Wow, well, barely anything, eh? Okay, we got to sprint it over here. At least we're in the trees. So I want to push these guys fast, hit them with the barrages if they're clustered here. Get them done early. Okay, I heard a vehicle moving. Guess they can't detect us yet, so they're just sitting there. That's probably a chopper figuring out what to do. Okay, Kentaro. Thank you. All 15. Beautiful. So that's the Lerm Contero, eh? I wonder if he's got ATMs on it. I've been kind of jonesing for ATMs. I need to get some ATMs going, I think. Now this guy doesn't have... I don't know what his armor is like. I really hope these guys only have about half armor. Don't think we're going to get that lucky, but... We'll see. Let's get into here. Confirmed. Kit Fox, Griffin, a Locust, a Thorn. Okay, we're looking good here for a competition. So we have one full strength star and one half strength star. But this is the guy we want to get on here. Um, I don't know. So we're trying to heat him up. Especially in the cold here. I think we're just going to go for damage. Okay, not bad. Good to go. Okay, I don't want to be able to let those guys see me. Wow. No heat, eh? All right, let's fire this three on this guy. Okay, two X pulses hit. Only 25 damage though. At least they hit. All right, buddy. Um, okay, well, let's get into here. Not ideal, but we got a thorn down here, really weak. Let's see if we can clip him. Uh, leave the rocket 15 off for now. I'm gonna use the tag arrow because we got a really great chance to hit. We've got the slug ammo. We'll go ahead and fire that. Oh, great! We got a whole nother lance. Yeah, 15 to four. Could be worse. Like that. Well, there's our new target. 313 armor, not bad. Ugh. OK, 
Okay, we got the adder, the cicada, Kintaro, the locust, and there's one more. It's got to be one more. Unless they have only four per lance, but it's unlikely. They're supposed to be clan. Oh, there's a Zora light tank. Okay. That means we're only seeing four of each. This is good barrage shot right here. I think we'll take that. Firing on the vehicle though, I think. And we might try and strike this thorn to see if we can finish it off. Once our Farazon gets over the hill. Okay, buddy. We need a multi-target on this if you can get it. We can't. All right, well, get into the trees. Get us a little closer to the fight. All right. Um, it's a pretty good chance to hit with the X-Pulse. Much better on this guy. I think we're going to do a multi-target here. Let's go like this. A and B. B is going to take the barrage. Switch this to dead fire. Leave the rockets off. Yeah, we'll go this route. Nice shot. So that's his Goss Rifle gone. Calm down. So these are probably f four mech lances. They've got to be. Because that's probably the reinforcements. We need to focus on ripping mechs apart. So this guy's lost his Gauss rifle now. Okay, he's got mostly mediums. ER mediums, probably. What do you think? 52% chance to hit. It's a little low for my liking. Um, could move forward like this and fire at him. And that should put our, our TSMs up. So let's do that and then we should be able to melee somebody next turn. How are we doing for heat? Our TSM should be activated now. I hear ya. Okay, let's get into here. To Gotta decide what we're doing here. Maybe we try and take this guy out and this guy. So let's do a multi. Um, yeah, let's go this route. You betcha. Ah, we got one hit. Okay, not bad. Beautiful. Yeah, we saw it. Don't get cocky, kid. It's when you get killed. If we can smoke these two guys this round, we're looking good. That's the Svantovit. Wait, that's part of the front group. So we should have another mech. There is, there, there's a griffin there. Is that the one that's full strength? One, two, three, four, and the uh, uh, Kit Fox five was full strength. Then we got one, two, three, four. I don't know what. And yeah, four, five. So there's ten here. That means there's five coming up. We got five more guys coming. Let's 
Five more guys coming. So right now it's 14 to 4. Yeah, I don't like that, do you? What's that? Shadow Cat? Catapult. Alright. Is that the 55 tonner? 65 tonner. Oh boy. It's not wait, does he have full armor? He does. Oh god, this is gonna be bad. It's gonna be bad. Griffin move this way. We need to stop the push up here. But we also gotta get a barrage down in here, I think. Shadow Cat's got the other barrage, right? No. Who has the other barrage? Did we use it already? Tag arrow. Oh no, you know what? It was the adder that had it. Tag arrow. Yeah, okay. Well. That's good chances to hit on the Kentaro. Gotta move out in the open to hit these guys, and that's not a good idea. Um, I think we want the side shot, though, on the uh, Kentaro. We want to focus on one side only. So let's move into here. Still good good targeting. Dead fire is out of range for that, but that's fine. We're going to use these. Let's apply some damage to this guy. Okay, not bad. Not bad. It's going to be a tough fought battle, guys. As long as this AMS holds out for the first little bit here. We only have 500 rounds, so we got to be careful of how quickly it goes away. Okay. I think we sick him on the Kentaro next turn. Well, that's interesting. That's very interesting. Okay. Great chances to hit on these guys. No idea what, uh, uh, do we multi? You know what? Can we get a side shot on any of these guys? We can if we move into here. Let's get into here. We're going to pull back after this strike, though. We're a little too close for my liking, with the exception of the melee mech, which I think can, you know, do some good damage here. Okay, not bad. And this guy... Why won't you let me... Alright. That can go to B. We're going to leave these, uh, these off, because we're going to have fully armored targets coming after. So, let's go this route. Ah, oh, the big one missed. Crying out loud. Nice. Alright. This guy doesn't have much left anyway. But still, there's a specter coming up. Yeah, they're all going to be up here if we're not too careful. We're going to have to back up. We're going to have to back up to pull the weight of their attack off us. He's moving into punch range. God, thank God we got that AMS. If we didn't have the AMS, I wouldn't have taken this mission. There's just no way we would have survived it for sure. OK, 
Okay. What are you doing? You milling? That's a suicide move. That is a suicide move. Yeah, they're trying to push us. Oh boy. We gotta back the hell up. Gotta back the hell up. I was hoping to move forward and stunt their attack. Hopefully, hope to keep them down the hill, but they're gonna charge up. They've got the numbers, so they're not gonna be that afraid of us until we can pull down a whole bunch more of their guys here. If we can pull down two next turn, maybe three. Like, we can severely damage the Kintara with a punch. Oof. He's got a pair of Lerm 15s, probably. That's not good. We're on round four. Did we... That guy went on 19. Okay, so it's the next round already. So... We gotta back up. Let's move back here. Uh, let's do a multi-target. Can we get a farther shot away from us? No, we can't. Not a direct fire, anyway. 12%. Alright. We try and kill this guy, I think. Um, yep. Okay, nicely done. You got that right! Yep. That's in the trees. Beautiful. Move back here. And we're going to switch this up to dead fire and shoot in this guy's backside. Not a ton of damage, but half decent. That's a back attack. Here it comes. Should do 135, I think. Yeah, man. See ya. Okay. We're solidifying our front line here. Could try and kill this fount of it, but I think I'm going to see if I can get behind the, the, the cicada and apply some back damage to this guy. We've got our Lerm dead fires on this guy. I think we can probably get behind him. That'll open up our back to a griffin shot, though. If we sprint, it's a lower chance to hit, but not as bad. So we'll take the sprint, lower our chance to hit a little bit. Still terrible. I'll see the rocket packs off, but we're going to fire all this. I was hoping to get lucky, but no such luck. Hopefully he'll sprint away next turn. Wow, really? I messed the camera. Sorry. Here we go. Something's figuring out what to do. So there are reinforcements so far are the Pegasus, the Spectre, and the Catapult, and two we haven't seen. Most likely they're heavier, but we'll see soon enough, I guess. Now we lost all of our heat, right? We did. Okay, we're on phase five at 22. So this guy's going to go. He's trying to figure out where the hell to go now. If we get lucky, he'll fortify himself. Try and remove his stability. But if it was me, I'd just keep going this way and get the hell out of here. Get into these trees. 
I know you put yourself near the melee mech, but no, he's chosen suicide, so that's fine. So now we're going to go after the Griffin. Cicada and Griffin are the targets. Svantovit, um, depending on where he... Well, he's going on 13. I was thinking about stepping on him, but that puts the trebuchet in... We've got a Griffin. This guy, the Adder's got the... Uh, right, he's got the double LRM-15s. Puts it in blast range of this guy, so I don't know if I want to do that. I'll think about it. Might do it. Just step on the Svantovit and get rid of it. The problem with being the melee mech is you have to be in the thick of it. Or, if the adder moves up, we can go right after him. I don't know if he's going to be in range, though. A hit, yeah, but you still hit you pretty good. We had four chevrons of evasion, so that's pretty good. Comes the griffin in for a melee attack. So he's chosen suicide as well. 50 points damage, not bad. Get over here. Looking for the death blow. Here it comes. You said you. See ya. Gotcha. God, that Merm 20, man. That thing's scary. We've only got 10 turns of regular ammo. Well, improved ammo. It still only does 4 damage. Or 5 damage, sorry. 10 turns of firing with that, but then we got the incendiary as well, so we're okay. Don't know if that was me or hit... Did he hit his own guy too? I think he might have. That's the locust. It's me. Warning. Enemy sensor lock detected. Commander. Oh, this guy is in range. Let's give it a shot. We can rip his arm off. That's where his, lar his lerm's in this arm. One of them. Crap. Did we hit him? I have no idea. Yeah, we hit him. 14 heat. <sighs> I had to reserve because our Furzon's in the way for a rear attack on this guy. Because if I miss, then I'm going to shoot our, our fares on. So let's back up like this. We'll sprint. And let's Vigilance. Terrible chance to hit, but we're going to shoot it all anyway. Um, let's, yeah, let's go with Deadfire. I think the big one missed. What did we pen, though? Penned his leg. That's the right side. So I think maybe she shoots him from the right side. We might be able to take that leg off. Let's see how it goes. That's the left side. Yeah, his right leg's pretty badly damaged. I switched the map board completely to the other side. I'm like, where the hell am I looking at? I'm like, oh yeah. We'll wait till it's her turn again, then I'll fix this. <laughs> Sorry guys, I gotta stop right clicking. I keep trying to move the camera around. Damage, and it registers, but then it doesn't register, if that makes sense. Probably doesn't make any sense. We need to get rid of this griffin first. Can you please do that? Bad chances to hit, but we're using them all. I know I said I was going to go from behind or beside, but we got that guy back there now, so. Okay, we got some pretty good initiative over here. Our Arizona on 21, Arclight on 20. I don't know when this guy goes, but hopefully it's after us so we can kill him fast. Now we can focus on this guy. So we're going to punch this guy and then we're going to jump out of there.
Trying to get his ECM on his buddy here. It's not going to save him, dude. Not going to save him. Round 22. Gauntlet might be able to kill this guy. Okay. See if we can smoke him now. Good chance to hit. Our barrage is back too, which is awesome. Uh, I'm going to leave the dead fire on. Crap, the big one missed again. There goes his ERPPC. Oh, no, it's just critted. Okay. So, I think, yeah, if we got, if we have four medium X pulses on this thing, it might be a lot better than firing that one big one. I don't know where that big one would end up, though, if we put it somewhere else. I mean, I guess we could put it on the, um, the gauntlet. That's all you've got? Yep. See if we can, re like, replace the LBX or something. All right, we're going to shoot and then move. Beautiful. All right, spread out a little bit. Come on, give me my movement. Gonna move back here like this. Heading out. Spread out a little bit. This might give us a turn to cool off too. She's getting pretty hot here. Ready. All right, let's just attack this guy straight up first. Come on, hit. Nice. Was that a leg hit? Yep. Beautiful. Don't think that could have been any better. Oh, does that count? Does a melee attack count as a movement? I guess so. Well, I'm not sure if that was worth it. We got one Chevron of evasion, though. From the gyro that we have. So I have to push forward now. These guys should start worrying. Okay, that's the one catapult. Hunchback. What else? Is this the Spectre still? Yeah. What can I do for you? Okay, Witness, can you smoke this guy for me, please? Just get him out of here. Alright, here comes. Not quite. There's more where that came from. Infantry compartment destroyed. That's interesting. So they've lost six already. They're down to nine. Two to one odds. Not bad. Better than almost four to one. Okay, he's doing nothing. Round 15. This guy's going on 14. So maybe there's... Oh, who do we got back over here? Shootist. All right. Shit. He killed his own guy. Minimal damage. He's got... Oh my god, we got to kill this guy fast. Oh shit, that's bad. We're lucky he missed me and killed his own guy. Dude, you need to get the hell out of there. Jump your shit out of there. That's the hunchback I, when my friend, uh, we first started playing the clans, he's like, you gotta you got see the hunchback 2C, and I'm like, eh, whatever. Pair of Ultra 20s, are you kidding me? That thing, I would replace Urban Max with that thing and just put it on a fucking street corner. Put it at an intersection. First mech's to turn the corner is just done. I don't care whether you're an assault mech or not. He's just going to wreck you. Still pushing. Okay, buddy. What are we at? 23. When do we go? 17, 15, 18, and 20. All right. This guy goes on 12. We should be able to kill the Svantavit. I'm going to use um, catapults jumping. The more you jump, the less you're going to hit me. That's, that's all I care. I'm showing minor damage. He's unstable too, which is nice. We might be able to get a shot off on him. 
All right, ArcLight, we got to worry about... Um, let's do this. Actually, going to leave both of those on. We'll turn both of these off. Drop a bit of heat and fire on this guy. Thank you. Well, thank you very much. Going to push this way a bit. Okay, dropped a bit of heat. Yeah, we got to get the hell out of that guy's range. They've blown past my armor. Yeah. He's overheating, though. Waiting on you, Commander. Ooh. There you are, you bastard. Uh, let's multi, because we can. This guy, and then let's shoot. I can't target that guy. Or that guy. Shoot this guy. And, yep, let's get the incendiaries on that uh, hunchback. Nice. He's in a perfect spot. We can get a barrage down in there now. I don't know where he blew past my armor, my leg. It's not good. Not good. Let's get behind the rock over here. Get some vigilance. Let's fire on this guy. We've got good chances to hit. I wonder if I should just use the rockets up now. Kill this guy. This guy's got full armor. Let's do it and get rid of him if we can. Nope. Good damage, but not enough. It's all right. Damage critical. Yeah. You're jumping up on the hill next turn anyway. There we go. I'm going to get shot in the back, but nothing I can do about it. we got to get the barrage down there. That's a really low chance to hit on this guy. So I think we're just going to go ahead and do this. Can we get it? There we can. Just get the barrage down there. Here it comes. Beautiful. Yeah, nothing I can do about that. I want to know how he heated up this guy is. And I wonder if I should sacrifice the trap to get in there and kill that guy. He's going to cool off fast. That's the thing, right? No idea how much heat he's got. All right, we go on 20 and 20. Oh, man. Witness is going to drop some incendiaries on this hunchback again. And then I think we drop, we'll, we'll use Arc Lightner Hydra ammo. That's the shootest. At least he's not uh, getting close yet. I mean, he's still kind of in range, but not quite. If we rotate this way, we should be able to keep him out of direct line of sight for a bit. This guy's getting two tons, or yeah, two uh, MRM tens of in, in, uh, Hydra ammo this turn. Yeah, he's backing up. Backing up. What can I do for you? Same two targets, please. Oh, we lost sight of them. <gasps> no. I 
I could move here and hope we see him. There we go. We got a line of sight. We don't have a line of sight though. Let's see if we can just smash this guy. Beautiful. A little overkill, but I gotta make sure he goes away. Thank you. Okay, I think that was a arm hit. Okay, yeah. we're gonna fire first. Hydras. Oh, come on. There we go. Here it comes. Yeah, he's super heated. Yeah, even more so now. Let's move out here. On it. Like I said, we're going to rotate away from the shooters for now. Who's left? Uh, our fire is on. Okay. This guy's baking, man. Look at this. Okay, he's gone indirect. Hit his own guy. Beautiful. This isn't too good. Yeah, relax, man. We're getting you out of there in a second. <sighs> Let's go this route. Engaging. I want to see if I can knock his ass over. Right arm's gone. Ultra 20 ammo explosion, right torso gone. Knocked down, there it is. Okay. Back up, let's see if we can get, force this, uh, da um, the dagger, the locust to move out of here. Alright, that's it for our turn. This guy's still dangerous though, he's still got weapons. Yeah, you're coming out of there next turn, so don't worry about it. You've done awesome, man. You've done really awesome. We're going to jump you back here to engage this uh, locust in a second. Okay, his Ultra 20 is unjammed though. So only got one left. We blew the other one off. Oh, screw you and your friggin' pings. Okay, that was 24. Geez, we go really slow on this turn. This guy gets to go before us again. He might take our leg off if we're not careful here. At least we'll still be able to jump, though. That guy's going to get his ass knocked over this turn. Oof. Yeah, you lost one of your jump jets, too. Not good. Not good. Okay, this guy's getting the Hydra again. Should be able to knock this guy's ass on the ground this turn. She just is getting some height on us. It's fully armored too, so we gotta be careful. Damage, holding firm. Nice. That was 20. What are we at? Still at 20? Who's going on 20? Let's this guy see if he's moving or not. Yeah, he's just seeing if he's moving. Good to go. Well, we don't have much jump left, do we?
Wait, so that's our right leg. Let's just do this. Not the best. Vigilance. Gonna knock this guy on his ass. Let's get that on there too. There's the knockdown. Beautiful. Yep, let's give this guy the what for. Nicely done. And stay down. All the long now let's get on the flank of the trebuchet. Hopefully block the guy's right leg. Right leg or left leg? Wait, what leg is damaged? I don't know. One side or the other. You know me in friggin' direction. 46% chance of the Hydra of taking it. That's it for him. Tango down. Copy that. Okay, moving over here. Looks like we got four guys left. This guy's got a lot of armor. Let's go here. Dead fire, here it comes. Okay, penetration, nice. Enemy critical damage detected. We gotta go for the kill now. We can't be farting around with anything. I have no idea where I hit him. Most likely CT. Okay, Spectre's gonna get a punch. Gonna shred the catapult till he's gone. Spectre's all yours, buddy. Uh, wait. Right, leg. yeah, well, not much we can do about this. Only place we can attack him from. That guy's gotta get up anyway, so chance to hit is gonna be low. Nicely done. Arm hit. Flamer missed, but that's okay. It's fine. That's the shootest. Ooh, we gotta back up. That's an AC-20, I think. Come on. Send me a real don't. Mech don't. You tempt it. He's got full armor too, man. We gotta sprint out of range. <sighs> we gotta draw his ass out to here. We're gonna move back over this way. Not gonna be far enough. Keep moving back. Yep. Oh, that's a lot of damage. Nice. Say good night. Say good night, sweet prince. Oh, can't multi-target because he's stealth. How badly damaged is this guy? Pretty darn bad. We can't multi. I'm going to leave this off. Simply because we've only got 60 rounds up. We're going to need it for the shootest. Beautiful. Well, he shouldn't have been jumping around is what he shouldn't have been doing. Let's back up over here. Okay, time to engage this freaking shootist. See if I can draw some fire. Not the best chances to hit, switching to standard ammo. Here it comes. God damn, that big one misses so many times. Warning. 
Enemy sensor lock detected. Not gonna save your ass. Um At least this guy doesn't have an AMS. Let's get back over here. He can't get within range. He's got that friggin' AC20. That's a half decent amount of speed too, and he's accurate. Holy crap. Oof, can't move that far? Oh, I guess my leg is so shredded. Let's get into here. Ooh, didn't expect that, but that's nice. Get over here. Got to get back up the hill here. A barrage is back. Nice. Engaging target. Okay, barrage hit. That's nice. Where did he get us? The right side. So we want to make sure the left, well, can't make sure the left side's to him, but keep going up the hill here. Yep. Okay, firing. firing. Just get down behind the hill here. No idea how we're doing on this guy. Well, not too bad. We pulled out about, what, one-fifth of the armor? Oh, he's moving back. Okay. Commander. I hear ya. If he can pop Tart up, we'll do that. But right now, he's just going to stay there. We need to be in the trees. Here we go. There we go. Got some good height on him. Okay, here it comes. Nice, nice. The big one hit. 47 only though, but still. He's closing. Ooh. Let's get him heated up, people. Let's bake this guy's noodle. He fired a lot, so... Switch up to Inferno. Let's get back into close range. Firing. Yeah, enjoy the heat, Bubba. Let's get the side shots on him. Switching over to Incendiary. Tag 64, we're going to take it. Firing. Burn, you bastard. Yeah, critical hit. Waiting for order. Could jump up and shoot, but that could be our death, so we're just going to stay here. Roger that. Okay, we can get in the trees. Not the best shot, but we're going to get in here close. Good chances to hit, switching to dead fire, here it comes. There's a knockdown. That is the harbinger of death for him. Alright, uh... We might get lucky. Let's go for a headshot. Gonna fire the arrow as well. Why not? We did get a head hit. Internal damage. That was a heavy hit, Commander. 
and firing. See ya. There it is, folks. That was well played. Mission successful. Okay, contract payment increased by 20%. It's all going to go to repairs. On the trebuchet, we lost a lot of leg stuff, but nothing that's too bad. We lost one of the jump jets, which is a problem, but we can put a regular one there. Well, I'll figure it out. We can put three regulars in for the cost of two of the regular um, improved. So, wow, witness, look at this. Look at this kill. Just crazy. All right, what do we got here? Lots of parts, lots of Griffin parts. I mean, we could see if we can get enough. If we get, I don't know. We could take three, well, we could get Kentaro parts. Four missile, two laser, though. I mean, we could technically make the our, our Kentaro, um, the lamb mech. Hmm. That's interesting. Okay, say AC-20 Mirmidon, that was the one that, that, yeah, good chance to hit with this thing. That's what the shootest had on him. 25% flat jam chance, though. Wow. ER mediums, PPCs, LBX-5, light tags. A couple of Lerm 20s. And five tons. Narc launchers, tag, Ultra 20 clan. We do have an Ultra 20 already. We could take the clan. Wow, what am I going to put it on? 12 tons. That's a, that's a lot of weight. Uh, Excel engine. I don't know. I think we go for the Kentaro. And then roll the bones and see what else we can get down here. Royal heat sink kit. Don't really need it. We got lots of good stuff already. And then ammo. Let's go for the Kentaro. I mean, there's lots of stuff I could take here. There's a lot of good stuff here, but I think we go for the Kentaro. Because we've got it. All right, let's take it. I think this thing's got actually got two hands, if I'm not mistaken. All right, we got a Griffin part, Kit Fox, and a Cicada part. We got the AC-20, medium pulse magna. It's kind of nice. That's good damage. 14 times three for 20 heat. 300 meter range though. You got to get close. Couple of lower arms. We don't really need them right now. LBX-5 slug ammo, which we already have. Yeah. Well, light AC or light tag. I mean. Okay. I guess that could could have been better for the roll, but could have been a lot worse. All right, let's have a look here. Well, okay, not too bad. Not too bad at all. I mean, we've got a few components that are down, but we can replace those. So we did make a few C-bills. Not much, but a few. We'll get the jump, and uh, yeah. We'll get these guys up and running. Now, I want to have a look in the mech bay. Actually, you know what? We're going to wait to bring the Kentaro forward, um, only because I don't want to have to pay for it for this, this uh, run. So we'll see what that's like next episode. I'll bring it forward. We're going to jump, get some stuff fixed up. I don't think I'll be changing the mechs between episodes on this one, only because uh, we've got a lot of work to do and a lot of C-bills to outlay. So let's get the Treb back as soon as possible to replace the stuff. So we got about, what, 13 days of repair, plus another day to replace the jump jets and stuff, maybe two days, so 15 days. So look for a planet within 15 days. We'll have our mechs back, and we can do some battles in the next planet. All right, so I'm going to end this episode here, guys. I hope you have a happy Sunday. hope you're staying safe and staying happy. If you liked the episode, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. You can also drop any comments in the comment section down below. Any suggestions for that Kentaro? We've got two laser points, points and four missile hard points. Um, and I'm thinking about maybe maybe turning it into the land mech, or maybe we turn that into the melee mech and turn the trebuchet into a lamb mech or something like that like a super far jumping mech i don't know we'll see how it goes all right until next time we'll see you later